Hello guys, this is 97 back with another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi Battle and as you can see from the team preview, this battle is against HC Metal 022 I think so I found him on the small one with a battle finder it turned out to be a pretty interesting GU battle so let's just go straight into the team preview I guess I can say so um, yeah basically my first one is Cabalion of course this is a new team, I actually forgot to point that out First one is Cabalion, of course. Um, it has leftovers and stealth rocks, but it's my uh, offensive Cabalion because I have Sword Dance, Close Combat, and Iron Head on it. So basically, this is my stealth rocker. And then next one is Aerocross with the Choice Band and sl Sleep Talk, I think, because it's basically my spin, um, not my spin blocker, but yeah, my Sleep Fodder for Rose Rays and such. Then I have a Stall Breaker Crobat, a spin blocker in the form of Cafagrigas. It's a Resto Chest, so Cafagrigas with Nasty Plot. Then I have the regular physically offensive protect speed boost Sharpedo, and then my Scarf which is Porygon Z. Basically, I have download 40 plus one on special attack, and then um, it's a Scarf Porygon Z because it does pitch much on the UU tier. So, yeah, my opponent he uses using a Zoroark, and I know how Zoroarks are like. Yeah, they are threatening because of the illusion, of course, and you don't know who they are. But then he has Vitini, Raikou, all those powerful threats, of course. And then he has those walls of Gligor and Blastoise, obviously gonna be hard to take out. But Verizion, it can either be specs or... Not, not specs, I mean it can be special or it can be physical, so you'll have to find that out. Or even mix, so... Yeah, um... Oh, and something I actually forgot to say. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I do have a new microphone. So, yeah, I bought this like two days ago and it's pretty cool because I've tested on Skype and such, so it's actually turning out to be pretty cool, so yeah, tell me what you guys think about it, and it's actually a webcam, so if I ever plan on streaming in the future, I think I have what it takes to stream, so yeah, um, stay tuned for uh, the future, I think, because if I stream, I'll post on YouTube and you guys can go to Twitch to see if me I am streaming and such, so... I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna say let's just go straight into the battle. So I do decide to lead off with my um, Cabalion because I wanted to get the Stealth Rocks up, but as he leads with Victini I'm obviously gonna be afraid of the V-Create, so I'm obviously gonna make the switch into my Cafagrigus, but because even though I am not Leftovers, I'm Resto Chesto, I can still um, take some hits because I have that good natural physical bulk. He actually predicts the switch, of course, because it was really obvious that I wouldn't say into the V-Create. He goes for the U-Turn and switches into his Gligar. At least I think it's Gligar, because I'm gonna go for the Nasty Plot, but he actually shows a trick, and I'm like, okay, Gligar does not have trick, does it? And, um, yeah, I'm gonna be locked into Nasty Plot, it's gonna be a bit bad, because, yeah, I can only Nasty Plot, so I'm obviously gonna have to switch out. I'm gonna go into my Porygon Z, because I didn't even knew if this was Zoroark or not, because at the time I didn't even knew if we got trick or not so it does show he has the night days and night days is not gonna be able to take me out which is really nice it's gonna do like a solid 55 60 percent but he does make the switch into his Verizion and because I got the special attack boost I'm gonna go for the tri attack because he hits everything hard on his team so I'm gonna be able to do a solid 60 percent to this on um, Verizion go again for the tri attack because of course I'm scarf so I easily outspeed go for the tri attack so Verizion is now out of the way and I have don't have really to... yeah, that thing is now out of the way, I mean, I don't have to worry about that thing anymore. So, I'm gonna go into my Cofagrius again, because of this damn, um, yeah, Victini, but he actually makes this good play, which is going for the U-turn, and, yeah, of course, he's gonna be able to switch to the U-turn, goes into his Glygar, and right now, I actually thought this would be Zoroark again, so I did switch into my Aerogross, predicting the Night Days, but it doesn't actually work out because he goes for the Stealth Rock, so that tells me that he's the real Gligar. So I do make the switch again into my Cofagrigus because I can go for the Specs Shadow Ball. And because Gligar doesn't have that good special defensive bulk, I'm gonna be able to do a solid chunk with the Shadow Ball. He actually makes a weird play. He goes for the Taunt. Maybe he was predicting the switch or he just misclick and he wanted to go for Toxic. Because why would you taunt a Pokemon that you know you it's choice because you tricked him? That makes absolutely no sense. So I'm gonna guess it was a misclick or either a overprediction. So he goes into Blastoise as a go for the Shadow Ball and this does so much, does over half to this Blastoise. And Blastoise are really bulky on the special side. So he does outspeed of course because I'm a Cofagrigus, slow as hell so... Um, goes for the Toxic of course and I'm gonna be able to again for the Shadow Ball. And, um, Obviously, gonna be able to take out the Blastoise because of the 
first damage of course this one was um yeah was more than enough to take him out so he does bring in Raikou right now and I'm gonna have to let Michael Fagricus die because I have nothing to take these hits because you know um yeah Thunderbolt is not resisted by anything on my team and I'm gonna be able to go into my scout which is my of course Cabalion you can see there and he does make the switch into his Gligar as I put as I think I go for my Stealth Rocks because now that Blastoise is now out of the way and yeah, he cannot spin them away so Stealth Rocks are going to be there to the end of the battle so I do decide to go for the Swords Dance as I knew I, could not, I couldn't knock him out with the Iron Head except I got the Flinch but I didn't want to go for it that way and I knew he would Roost because of that so he does go for the Roost as I go for the Swords Dance and I know that plus 2 Iron Head will not do yeah, it's gonna do crap, so I'm gonna have to go to plus 4, as he does actually go for the Earthquake, and because I'm a Steel-type, he cannot hit me with Toxic, I think that's why he went for Earthquake. So, um, yeah, I'm at now at plus 4, I can simply go for the Iron Head, and if it doesn't take him out, which I hopefully it will, because, yeah, it's plus 4 stab, but it doesn't, because Gligar is really bulky with that Eviolite, so he's gonna be able to go again for the Earthquake. Thankfully, he does not crit me, which is, yeah, it's really thankful, yeah, thankful, so... I'm gonna be able to go again for the Iron Head and knock this Gligar out, which is really, really cool because Gligars are bulky and I hate Gligars with Bruce and Toxic and yeah, yeah, Toxic's also. He does bring in Victini and I'm like, okay, if he overpredicts, he overpredicts, if not, yeah. So he goes for the Bolt Strike, I'm not, okay, yeah, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not even gonna be able to take that. But I do with 9 HP, except I got Parry and I get fully Parry on the first turn, so yeah, that's my luck for you guys. As he actually is going to be able to go again for the Pulse Strike and knock me out, of course, because I got fully paralyzed on the first turn. Because for somehow, Cabellion remembered to get paralyzed on the first turn and got paralyzed on the first place. So, yeah, I'm going to go into this thing, which is my Arrow Cross, and I know that Pulse Strike will not do much, so I'm going to be able to go for the Stone Edge. If he wants to stay in, he's dead. If not, he switches into Zoroark and, well, either if he switches into Zoroark or, or um, the Raikou, Stone Edge will do, yeah, it's, if it doesn't kill, he's gonna be able to do hit KO, and as long as I don't miss, I'm fine. So he's gonna be able to bring in his Raikou, and I do predict the extra sensory, so I switch into my um, Sharpedo. It was a risky play on my part, because it could have simply gone for the Thunderbolt and knocked my Sharpedo out right here, because Sharpedo is really frail, and Thunderbolt would have been an overkill, so... He does actually, yeah, maybe he's like locked into extra sensory, so he goes into Vikini, but I had no reason not to go for the protect because I still didn't knew if he could be expert belted in some way. So, no reason not to go for the protect as I now can go again for the protect, risking this Vikini be scarfed or not. And because I think it's scarfed because he, yeah, Bolt Strike, he didn't like, he, he didn't make banded damage to my, um, yeah, to my Cabalion, so. Plus 2 is enough to outspeed this thing even if he was scarf, so Waterfall is going to be able to knock him out easily, so... Um, he's now left into his Raikou, and I do have the Earthquake on this Sharpedo, so... I'm going to be able to go for the Earthquake right now and knock out this Raikou. So, yeah, that was a good battle, HD Metal 022, had a lot of fun with it. And I hope you guys like the new microphone, because I sure do, and yeah, and because it's a webcam, I'm going to have to plan on streaming in the future, so yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the battle, and yeah, if you didn't ever check out my Pokemon Blue Randomizer Nuzlocke, go check it out, because it's pretty cool, and yeah, it's on part 2, so yeah, go definitely check that thing out, so yeah, I think um, that's it, so yeah, till next time, later.